was Filer. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 19th and the 26th of October 2019. This is where I talk about celestial transits that affect all of us, all the zodiac signs. So <clears throat> we're having this, I would say, fruitful week. You know, this is a, a, a last quarter moon week. The, 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 the moon is, we're heading into a new moon. And by the way, it is an intense new moon that we're going to experience at the end of next week. So we're heading into an intense lunar cycle later on. And this is re which is also a Mercury retrograde time from the beginning of November. So this is really a week that we should be as fruitful as we can, that we should... Um, complete and try to finish up everything that we can before this more unstable time flows in. Um, and the good news is, is that Venus that is in charge generally over our satisfaction from the fact we're living in a body that has five senses in a physical plane that we're interacting with other souls that have bodies and senses and live in this physical plane as well and that we can interact with all that bounty and value that there is here in this physical plane so generally love relationship money and everything sensual and sexual is Venus and Venus is going throughout this week through several transits that really are beautiful for her, are a lot of fun for her. So we could actually intensify, enhance, and upgrade both things relating to our income and job relating uh, um, issues, maybe get an upgrade of some sort in our position at our jobs, or we could um, enjoy our relationships more, you know? The only thing I want you to be is not too naive regarding both business aspects or money aspects this week and your relationships. Given that you are reason reasonable, that you keep your head on your shoulders, this is a wonderful time to allow yourself to get a little carried away, a little lightheaded, you know, as long as you don't lose north, <laughs> and enjoy yourselves. Um, because as I said, satisfaction could be heightened. So Venus on Sunday is going to be sextiling Saturn, that brings some uh, uh, more stability into our relationships and especially in our work related environment and more value and then it trines Neptune the next day which brings a lot of uh, intuition and romance and softness and um, a feeling that I don't always have to get what I want in relationships that I could be more passive and float along with things that I want to unionize and, 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 and join and merge and, and, and unite with my partner that we are one and we could be more naive at that time so if someone new comes into your life or a new proposition is proposed at this time wonderful just don't be with your um, pink shades on you know, don't idealize and, and uh, don't be too utopic about things. Um, Sunday, the 20th, is a very intense day in the skies because there's a very lucky formation called the kite that involves a grand water trine and another small trine and a T square at the same time in the sky. So we could feel a very intense energy that is really activating us and challenging us deep inside our own mechanisms are being challenged at this time. And it's, it's, it's something that is felt throughout the week 
okay? Both of them are. <clears throat> but they're most intense this Sunday. And Monday, I'm sorry, Sunday, Monday. And, and that T-square is Mars squaring the dragon nodes, the lunar nodes. And that is a time that we could be too intense for our own good, too um, um, aggressive, and, and the male energy, which is a little childish and demands immediate satisfaction, is heightened within us. So really stepping away from our emotions is a good thing, Sunday and Monday, and seeing things from above a little bit in a more strategic aspect. And this is generally a time that is thought of as a time of individuation. <clears throat> um, and the kite is the moon together with Neptune and Saturn and the nodes and Venus and Mercury creating this grand water trine and another triangle generally called the kite which is a time that we could actually transcend limitations and, 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 uh, and things that were blocking our path in the past and get up to a new level and connect dots that we haven't seen before as connected and actually unite forces with things that have been opposing up to that point. And that's a beautiful thing, you know. That and the sunset in Alabama. And Monday the 21st is going to be when the opposition, when, when the T-square of Mars to the nodes is going to be exact. On that day, Venus is trining, as I said, Neptune exactly. And then on Friday, on Friday, Venus is going to sextile Pluto, which is great for intimate relationships, which is great for more authentic relationships, which is great for um, maybe even intensifying your power and strength within your jobs and workplace or within your relationships again. And this is quite a Plutonic time. This is quite a transformative time as the sun is going to ingress into the sign of Scorpio on Wednesday the 23rd. So happy birthday, all you Scorpios. Life wouldn't have been the same without you. And personally, I can say that all you Scorpios have been my greatest teachers and contributors to the way I see the world and, and life and death and everything <laughs> so thank you Scorpios and happy birthday and um, the Sun in Scorpio is going to make all of us even more um, loving of the conspiracy theories that are already abundant and overwhelming and just there's a feeling that we need to uncover the truth and things can be uncovered and things are too dramatic and things are too intense and sexual you know, it could be overly sexual at this time as well. So make that work positively for you in your life if you do feel it. And on that positive note, I want to remind you that in a week and a half, there's groups starting with me for all levels. So if you want to study for, with me from wherever you are around the world, contact me. There's my details on the slide at the end of this video. Thank you for sharing these videos and commenting on them. May we all live long and prosper. Bye-bye.